Hi everyone and thank you for having a look at this uh, video. Today I'm going to show you how I've made a, just a little solar kiln in the garden for under 150 quid. So started off by cutting up some 3x2 into three different sizes and that given me my base and both walls. So it was uh, 600 for the base, 650 for the vertical and 350 for the other vertical. So here's me here making up the, the size of the frame. It was being a bit rough, I was in a rush, so I just went to get this done. Kind of set myself a date for the target for this job, and I failed miserably. <laughs> uh, yeah, so here I'm just uh, dealing the roof. The way you figure out your angle is you take a longitudinal position, and that should really give you the angle of your roof pretty straight off. Um, I didn't do that because I'm an idiot. The way you make this is just essentially you're building a really small kit. So we'll get some OSB. Once you've got the frames built out, and just screw it onto there. So go for black when you're painting the inside of your kiln, uh, purely for the fact that the black just absorbs the heat. God, just look at that ass. I'll just uh, cover that up for you. Yeah, so what you see here is I've decided to make the door just a whole removal panel so I can use the whole kiln with no issues. Um, so just a uh, 12 mil weatherboard bolted over. Those four verticals that you can see, they're just screwed down at the bottom. And once I've attached this board in, pull the screws out and the door will be coming in and out, no problems. So for the installation I used a 50mm foam board, covered every panel with that. I actually did the bottom as well, just because of the spare sheet. I use this uh, light glaze sheeting for the, the roof um, and I do not recommend it. It's so brittle that it just constantly, it snaps, it breaks, it cracks, it's horrible stuff. Uh, I'm actually probably going to change the roof out um, quite soon. Just, I don't think it's going to be very watertight, especially in Scotland. Big guy. Uh, bead of silicon all the way around and slide the panel on top. So I then used a 6mm drill bit to pre-drill all my holes and when then fix them down using uh, just roofing screws. And we've got rubber washers on them so it should stop water seeping under.
load up its kiln for a seal up. And the things I've got to cover as far as uh, the vent holes, which you can see there. Uh, and I got had some scrap wire, so I slipped that down into smaller bits just to uh, pack this up, keep everything level and off the floor. And um, that's a nice slab of elm going in there. So that's me there just fixing the, the removable panel and just do it with some screws. the end of this video so uh, thanks for having a watch and uh, hope you enjoyed it.